Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Lafara Georgia and thank you for joining me here. I'm just so excited to be on this journey with you where we will explore all things fashion, lifestyle, inspiration and travel. <laughs> tattoo tag and I get to know me well more so of a tattoo tag and I get to know my tattoos but yeah <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna talk about their meaning the price range placement decisions design ideas and what the pain scale was like but it's on June 12 2020 which was just a couple months ago and it's funny because I never ever thought I would have tattoos, just something that happened in this journey of my life and I'm so excited about them and I love them so much. So my first tattoo is 70 times 7 I have it here on my wrist and that was taken from a Bible verse about forgiveness. Matthew 18, 21 and 22, it talks about Peter and Jesus having a conversation and basically Peter was asking, so how many times should I forgive people that wrong me? It was like seven times and Jesus was like, nah bro. <laughs> Jesus ended up telling him, you know, you should forgive people 70 times seven. And I don't think right here Jesus is telling you to forgive somebody just 490 times. What it really is saying is when you think you've reached the maximum of forgiveness, add a little more. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that deal. Um, this was important to me because forgiveness is such an important topic to me. And I was going through a time where people were hard to forgive. <laughs> like people just did weird things. And I was drifting from a lot of people or changing the nature of our relationships. But I wanted to ensure that even through that change, I was okay inside. Like I had forgiven them, I did the issue, and I'm good again. So I needed that reminder um, to continue to forgive. And then I love this tattoo so much because I get some questions about it, and I get to express my faith and share that with people. And because of that, I've just been loving having this tattoo. And that is actually why it's on my wrist, because this placement, was really for people so it's on my hand where you know people can see it something that they can interact with like they can ask me about it and that's why i chose this placement oh uh, for the pain this really didn't hurt it kind of just felt annoying like somebody was just there on my hand like this so pain scale i'm gonna say a one because it really never did hurt, to be honest. It did just feel nagging from the end. It was my first tattoo. Um, it didn't hurt, as I mentioned when we were talking about the pain scale. But I could tell that my artist didn't do this kind of work a lot because, I don't know, he seemed nervous. Maybe because it was my first time. <laughs> but it did really look like him nervous though, which I never really understand. And then that made me nervous. And Jackson was there with me. Then we were sanitized and then I had to put my mask on. So, you know, all those good and healthy COVID protocols were observed. And then, yeah, I just lied down and he did it. All of my tattoo actually cost store minimum. For different stores, this varies. Some stores, their minimum is $50. Some stores, their minimum is $80. Some stores, their minimum is $100, and I'm sure there are more stores that have higher minimums than that. The store that I did this with, it's called Facing Fair Tattoos in Colorado, in Gunnison, and this cost $80, which was their store minimum. This tip like $20 or more, depending on what I feel about the work that the artist did, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but I did tip $20 for that. But always tip your artist. Yeah, it, 
is so near and dear to my heart, literally. <laughs> the placement is on my sternum and that was intentional. I worked on this piece with my artist and we created this together. I created a girl hugging herself with flowers growing from her head and a butterfly on the top of the highest flower. <laughs> So I did this piece at Calico Queen in Colorado. I love their work. I refer to this tattoo as she. <laughs> I love her so much. My flower girl is a depiction of self-love, self-growth, self-healing, and just self-patience. This is my mental health tattoo. I, I always say that. And what it represents for me is grow through what you go through, basically. So after dealing with depression, depression, uh, depression. <laughs> after dealing with depression, anxiety, and some spiritual confusion, after uh, the last few years, I started doing therapy, and I just kind of learned so much about myself, learned so much about who I wanted to be, and I grew so much from that experience, and grow through what you go through just stood with me so much and as a reminder i wanted to be reminded every time i feel like you know i'm basically at rock bottom i will come out and beautifully so and that is why i got this tattoo on my sternum it's so personal it's at a personal place where i see it every single day and that is why i got my beautiful girl so what about the pain scale <laughs> There was a part of the tattoo that I didn't really feel that much, but when you get up to the butterfly and some of the flowers, child, that pain hit so bad. So some part of it is like a three and some part of it is like a six. Spirit lead me where my trust is without borders. And that is a song that is a line from a song uh, from Hillsong Worship and the song is called Where Feet May Fail. I love that song so much. Spirally, where my trust is without borders, let me walk upon the water wherever you would call me. <laughs> So I love this song so much and that line just is a reminder to self, is a reminder to me. Um, I'm a person that I have trust issues <laughs> just like in general because I like to be in control of situations. Part of what I learned this year is just how to be patient, how to tr trust myself and situations and trust that God will work everything out for his good in the time when it should be. There was no moment in this tattoo that was not painful. And I know that is because of the placement. This killed me. This slapped me out. I can manage some pain reasonably, I think. Would you say that? Yeah. <laughs> pain I have an okay level of pain tolerance. But this was very, very painful for me. The placement, I got that on my left arm. And I got that placement because I wanted to be able to see it all the time. To be reminded to trust without borders. I currently only have these three tattoos and I love them so much. They mean a lot to me and I'm so happy that I got them. They're beautiful. They're meaningful and great reminders for me. Leave a comment below letting me know which one of these tattoos was your favorite, which one you liked, and if you plan on getting any tattoos in the future, what are your thoughts? Let me know. Don't forget guys to like this video, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Welcome to the family and see you in the next one.